ain't shit, you know. It's just some weak shit. But, you know, I'm here now in this situation, right? Already disproved, right? His bullshit. Even though, you know, while I was going through all of these things, trying to put it together, right? It was hard. It was difficult, right? But, like I said, right? These people don't have any power over you. These people ain't got shit over you anymore they did before it's just sad though you know he had all the chances to say something right he looked like he wanted to say something he looked guilty he looked like he was trying to come about something but yet he had nothing to say right nothing he had nothing to say Not that, like, I was overly expecting an apology, right? I know how I felt with it. I know how all these things ended up happening and how I ended up kept having issues and problems because of shit that I just simply didn't understand, right? But all in all, right, you know, after I got home, right, from all of that, one thing that stuck out to me is, like, I felt like this this weight was lifted off of me of sorts, right? Like like it like it got lifted up off of me, right? And I realized that right, I guess I realized deeper and more fully that, right? This man ain't got no power over me, right? I'm free from all his bullshit, right? I'm free from my mom and her bullshit, right? It's just as far as the stuff that she put at me and things like that. Because of him, right? But even still, right, it just... Can't blame nobody else for the choices that you get to make, right? The choices that you choose to make after all these things have happened, right? It's hard. It's difficult, right? But you respect yourself more for rising from it. Just like, you know, I ain't really got no respect for, for people who throw babies up against the wall and beat children with two by fours and sexually abuse people. I'll be honest. Right? And then the fact that after he said nothing and it could only talk about how he failed, right? I ain't got no respect for him. Zero. Right? Because I'm taking on all of his mess and his lack of being a strong man. Right? And all this shit compiled on me. And for a while, it's like, I just didn't even, didn't even understand why is all this shit coming at me? Right? What, like, what's going on? Right? And I'm only one trying to help and trying to, you know, do what I believe was right by all these people. Right? But just is what it is, right? So for my victorious family, my victorious army, don't ever let these naysayers and these abusers and all of these mean ass people ever, ever, ever even think that they can hold you back. That they can stop you from being the greatest that you are. All right, so with that, you know, stay focused. Don't worry about these distractions or all of that other media crap that they want to push to make you feel like this or think like that, right? Stay focused on you. Stay focused on yourself. Have some deep, deep compassion for your own self. Because you deserve it. 
only fear that there truly is is the fear that doesn't exist but is within your mind and that non-existent bad feeling can really stop you if you allow it don't allow it especially if you wanted to come from people who are just spiteful and just mean and made choices they make to want to hurt you and make you feel like that because of something else right Don't let them stop you. But with that, be well. Love yourself. Have that compassion for yourself. And as always, lead yourself to your greatest victory. Peace.